And CJ Stroud has been the top projected pick in most mock drafts. Let's learn a little bit more about him in this installment of First Draft. Stroud fires deep down to the end zone, and it is grabbed in the end zone for an Ohio State touchdown. My solid play is free. CJ Stroud still running. Free flowing, but discipline, dynamic. Playmaker. With his accuracy, it's a nightmare. Go get her. Wow, what a throw. Just kind of letting what the game comes to me. I'm not forcing anything, but still making sure that my footprint gets put in the game to make plays and show my God given talent. Touchdown, 31 yards. CJ Stroud. CJ Stroud, the Ohio State University quarterback. I'm from the Inland Empire of California, about an hour east of LA. Definitely appreciate where I come from. When you grow up there, you have to be really tough. And that's something that I, I pride myself on is my toughness. Stroud fires up the right sideline, and it's caught. My first time ever playing football was when I was five years old. I remember seeing a football field and a whole bunch of kids out there playing, looking like they're having fun. And I was like, Dad, I want to play. And they're like, what position do you want to play? And my dad said, say quarterback. And I love Michael Vick, and my dad used to always make me watch Michael Vick. And I was like, I want to wear number seven. And I got to play with the SYFL in the Snoop League. And when I played with them, that was kind of where I got that dog into me. That's when I learned how to play free-flowing and elusive. C.J. Stroud shook off multiple defenders and touchdown. I had a coach named Coach Tojo who kind of taught me how to play quarterback because I would always try to run. And, uh, he was like, no, you're going to stay in the pocket. You're going to be paid millions to do this one day. And he told me that at seven years old. Touchdown! Are you kidding me? I thought he was just talking, but uh, he probably knew what he was talking about. So shout out Coach Tojo. Honestly, who kind of motivates me to do well, and uh, it's a multiple of people, but really my mom. Seeing her sacrifice and, and really doing anything she could to put food on our mouths and clothes on our back. And it wasn't easy all the time, but she got up every morning to go to work and never complained about it. And definitely tried her best to make sure that we were successful as kids and growing up to be not only good sons and daughters, but great people in our community and great men and women of God. And that's something that my mom set the foundation on. So shout out to my mom. Drive day will be a wonderful experience. It's been a long time coming. I'm dreaming about day, really since I've been five years old. So just to hear my name called and walk across that stage and see my mom's face, I know she's going to be yelling and crying and screaming. And I don't know how I'm going to feel, but I know that I'm going to be excited and, and really give them all wherever I go. Well, in just 17 days, that guy's life is going to be dramatically different. He could be the number one pick in the NFL draft, or maybe it's that guy and Bryce Young. <laughs> David knows what it's like to be the first overall pick in the NFL draft. Not a ton separates these guys, especially when you look at some of the statistics here. Obviously, the size and the height, more specifically, has been a talking point. You were in Columbus. You saw his pro day. Yeah. What separates C.J. Stroud from Bryce Young? Great question. C.J. is a guy, he's a prototypical quarterback. Big, yeah. physical guy. But I, what I love about him is, although he is big and physical, you say, oh, he's his pocket guy. He can move well. We saw it against Georgia. They did a great job. He can push the ball down the field. You want to play prototypical pro football, seven yards deep right behind the center, and ask him to make every throw in the book, he's got it. He's going to absolutely give you no issues, run any style offense you want, and then he can escape. He can get you out of bad situations. Maybe your offense line's not very good. Like at the top of the draft, sometimes that happens. Yeah, I don't know if you've heard that. Yeah. Sometimes they struggle, right? But he can get you out of bad situations. And CJ keeps his eyes down the field. He's always looking to make a throw, right? He can run. He's able to do that, as you'll see right here. He has the athleticism to run away from one of the best defenses in college football, right? But he's still able to keep his eyes up and make big plays. So he's a prototypical top of the draft guy. He can't go wrong. Struggling offensive lines for young quarterbacks taken high in the draft. A precursor and a little bit of a subtleties of what's still to come here That's right. on total access. Bryce Young yeah. does some things differently than C.J. Stroud. What pops on the film? Absolutely. And you can't go wrong with either one of these guys. That's why it's so fun. And he's so different, right? I think when you watch him, obviously he has pocket awareness. Bryce can move, right? And we talked about this in the, in the break. He's got a great processor. He gets from the first guy to the second guy and the ball's out, right? You can clock that with the stopwatch, but you can't coach that stuff. That's poise, in the noise. He's in the pocket, he slid up. He had a guy you wanted to throw it to. There's a player right here. Still makes a nice, accurate throw. He can push the ball downfield. He can place it where he wants. Yeah, that's covered, right? In the NFL, everyone's going to be covered, okay? Get used to it. Put it in the back pile and put it in a good spot. Save your play caller and then save your team by getting out of bad situations. Look at that. Like, you can say he's, he's not very big, but he plays strong. He plays physical. So I don't care what the numbers say, right? He's a big player. When he plays, he plays in those big moments. He plays tough. 
204 to 214, what are we talking about? He plays good football. I like Bryce a lot. You know what, what's sort of the business aspect of this is not every guy who's going to get here, who's going to get drafted at the end of the month is going to have success. A lot of it comes down to fit. We don't have a dog Absolutely. in the fight. I want all these dudes to do well and, and have success at the next level. But what do you hope happens for these guys in terms of fit? That's great. Personally, I think there's only one way to do this. I really think that regardless of how you feel about either one of these guys, I think CJ goes to Carolina and runs that system. Based on what I've seen from Frank Reich, what they're going to ask him to do, talking to some of those guys, he would be the best fit. I think Bryce goes to Houston. I think Bryce would be excellent in that offense. That You just watched the San Francisco 49ers, how Brock Purdy was plugged in and he just ripped through progressions. Talk about how efficient Bryce wants to be, making the most efficient play. That's my dream scenario. C.J. Stroud, Bryce Young, no matter what you feel about who's the top guy, I think the best way we find out is put him in the right situations. Put him in Carolina, put him in Houston, they're going to roll. Yeah, all we do is talk about fit in the draft. And by the way, the 2023 NFL draft is presented by Bud Light. It's almost here. Greatness is on the clock. You can watch April 27th through the 29th NFL Network draft coverage.